Welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. This is going to be the start of the second bit of the series. So in the first series, we took out a $1 million loan and trying to see how we could do. Now, we're going to take out a $2 million loan. Now, we've already got our equipment, so everything is good there. Showed you guys the train. The train's been redone for this second update right there. Looks pretty good. Unfortunately, it required a new game save. So our fields, our farms are all gone. I gotta build this whole thing back. Oh, so that's what we're going to do today. Updated farm build, baby, let's go. Let's start off with the farm build itself. Yes, there's $3.9 million up there. You know what, just ignore it, just ignore it. You don't need to, you don't need to know about that. I'm trying to build my farm back and then we'll get money back where it is. So we've gotten our hands on the American garage with apartment from OK Used Mods. You may remember we used his house on here for the first set of the series. However, I wanted to go with something a little bit different, maybe change up the way this entire area looked. Now we went with John Deere Green to start with. I thought it looked pretty good, but it didn't quite contrast enough. So for this series, everything is gonna be red with the exception of the equipment, which is well, it's still green, sorry. We're also gonna be utilizing some of Alien Jim's mods from the animated shed pack. This just got an update, and it's also gonna allow us to have more shed space, better shed space, and it's gonna allow us to have some other stuff, which I'm really excited about. So let's get it started, baby. Some things are going to be placed down right back where we had them. Some things need to get straightened out a little bit because I don't know how to place this stuff down right and everything is going to need to be placed down in free build mode. That's going to make things so much easier for us and I think about right here that look pretty good. That looked pretty good to me. Maybe we'll push it out just a little bit right there. Bam! Got him. Now as far as this house goes, I thought about doing a little bit of a different layout here. I kind of cheesed it a little bit in the past where I just kind of like ran from one side to the other and well that was it. So I'm thinking about maybe preventing myself from doing that. Maybe putting it like right here kind of like it would be in real life. I thought that would be kind of fun. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I just gotta make sure I can line this up perfectly. I got a sneaky suspicion this is as good as it's gonna get. So let's put it down. Let's come over here and uh, take a look around a little bit. So we got doors right here that open up. We've got a couple other doors right here that open up nice and slowly. We've got an area to go up right here to our apartment. Eh? I love it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Open up the door. We got everything in here that we need. Place where we can change our clothes. It's John Deere. I know it kind of burns my skin a little bit, but it'll be all right. We've got a way in and out. This, I mean, it's kind of cool. Did he leave us some food out? Oh, he left us some cinnamon buns and croissants. Nice. Now let's go in here, check that. What's this? What? What is this? Snap, okay. Where did you get my logo from? <laughs> Glenn, you're a booger. I love you, man. I love you. We've even got a way out over here on the side. So this is going to be a nice place where we can actually raise up the ground a little bit right there. And eh, maybe, just maybe, run a little pathway back here, maybe into another building. We will find out and see. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and go through and open every single door that is around. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, we're gonna open up every single door that's around. That way I could see what door goes where, where is what, and and where all the pathways need to go, especially for, for this. Oof! I'm fairly positive there's no way to actually get this to level out back here, but I'm going to try. So. We've got our leveling tool here. We'll make this as small as possible, but we'll make it pretty tight on. And it doesn't look like that's gonna work. Okay, so we'll go to the next best thing. Soften. Yeah, that didn't work either. So I've got another idea. Let's go with painting and paint it the same color. All right, well, that didn't seem to work either. <laughs> so now I'm getting desperate. I'm coming through and I'm just gonna flatten out the backside back here. To bring it down a little bit. All right, well, this is awkward. Uh, there's a place right here that doesn't want to go down. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. This, this is the other idea. Quit, just quit. All right, so I got an idea. I think what I'm gonna do is try at least to go from like here in the middle and level this out right with where the road is, bring it in some, stay away from the outside edge, and then just keep that going. And that, that just didn't, come on. Why didn't it work? Ah! Okay, let's do this one more time. I'm gonna put everything in. It's gonna be nice. It's 
It's gonna look good. It's gonna look great. <laughs> I started on the inside and flattened it out. That should do it. Let's go into sheds. Let's find our favorite one, which is this one. Let's make it red and let's point it in the right direction and place it down. All right, now I've got everything flat out. Same thing with the house. All right, I think I'm back where I started. I did move the house forward a little bit so that this part would line up. Uh, and uh, looks like I'm able to go up and down. No trouble whatsoever. All right, I think we're back where we started. Oh, come on. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna put down some buildings. And again, I'm gonna be using some of Alien Jim's buildings. We do have toggle free mode turned off. And I flattened out a lot of these areas. So we're gonna put one of these in a way where we could get in and out, drive through the farm itself. So there's an easy way to get from the front to the back and boom, just like that. And I think we'll go ahead and build it while we're at it. I think the trigger fort's right here. Yeah, yeah the trigger's in the wall there. That's interesting. Uh, the red doesn't quite match, but you know what? That's okay. And I decided to put it down like this. So we've got a dri complete drive-through area right here. So we'll build the drive-through here, or the driveway, and it'll go straight towards the back of the farm back there. And here, we've actually got a side entrance so we can come in from the side or we could come in from the front. Next is going to be the silo area. So I do want to put a silo over here. I think I've got it lined up just about right. Right over here, and we should have the trigger in the corner. Yes, we do. Let's hit it. And let's watch this thing get all built it up. Now, this should line up either perfectly or really, really close. And it's going to give us a way to drive through. Um, I don't think we've got any storage, at least here. But we've got a way to drive through there. Do the doors fold in all the way? The doors do fold in all the way. And then we've got an area right here. Okay. There we go. We got a shed and we got a silo. So I might have got a little bit of carried away and forgot to hit record again. Uh, this is kind of where we're at. Got a nice little in cove here where we can park a car, do something like that. Um, we got all these areas here. Place, really nice place for combine harvesters, the larger tractors. Of course, we've got our silo system right here. I do like that the silo is there. Don't get me wrong. However, how much crop are we actually going to hang on to that we couldn't just put on this farm over here. So I'm actually considering getting rid of this building right here. And you know what? As a matter of fact, we just gonna get rid of it right now. There we go. I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna place down the exact same one that we've got. This is probably gonna be more than enough anyway. We'll just watch this thing get built because I love this. This is one of the coolest things ever. Boop, 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 boop. Bam. Done. So, now that's completed, uh, the buttons are on the opposite side. I just realized that. Nonetheless, this is going to be a little bit easier for us. We've got much, much more room, more versatile room to go through and get everything done. Okay, so a little bit of painting work and some, um, you know, putting, putting different stuff down. So I'm going to get all of that done right now. And I guess we'll meet back up here in just a few minutes. Everything should be finished soon. So I think I'm done. <laughs> Finally. So we've got a couple places right here. Uh, we've got a nice fence there. A couple of little DJ Go Ham pumpkins. Of course, well, could not have him there. Uh, got a nice little area again right here where we could pull in a vehicle or something like that. I did try and get the fencing to almost match up perfectly. I get about as good as I possibly could have. Got lights everywhere. Of course, we've got a nice little drive through right here where this area just will not go down, no matter how much I try. So, I quit trying. I've also got little lights kind of here and there, so at night, this area is going to look great, even though I don't do anything at night anyway. I decided not to do fencing around the backside because it's going to be difficult to pull things in here anyway, so why make it any more difficult on myself? Again, more pumpkins, a little bit more lights, and then we've got areas through here. Of course, I've got all of the grass painted. We got a little yellow and orange flowers everywhere. I've got some of these smaller trees and I've got some bushes around, so that looks nice. And then around towards the front, we've got a few trees as well. I'm um, trying to plant down like two or three of each uh, in the individual areas, just so it kind of looked cohesive between the parts, but um, that's about it for our house and for the main area right here. So that's one down, but I still got to put all the equipment back over here. And I think we've got a whole nother area that we've got to put stuff. Oh yeah. And I built this fence around this dude's house. I 
And I felt like he was being creepy, so tried to stay away. Oof. And there's beating and banging in there. Ugh, cool, so here you go. We've got our 8R in here. We've also got the 9RX rocking and rolling there. Both of our combine harvesters hanging out here, ready to head out at a moment's notice. Now, we've also got, uh, well, another farm, which has to be completely rebuilt and is going to take a while. However, this other farm is going to be really exciting because this area is going to be our cow farm well, once again, I mean, it was before and we're going to do it again, but we're going to completely level everything and we're going to start over from scratch. However, we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to do that because that is going to be super, super in depth. So stay tuned for it.